everyone. Welcome back to Become an Advocate. Now, I'm sure most of you know that Valentine's Day is just around the corner. And today, I'm so excited to share with you all an interesting way you can celebrate this holiday that utilizes agriculture and science. Now, when you think about the word agriculture, what comes to mind? A lot of you might be thinking about corn, soybeans, maybe raising livestock. Well, believe it or not, horticulture and the floral industry are two major sectors of agriculture. Floriculture is a multi-hundred billion dollar industry in the United States, and it employs over 87,000 Americans. In fact, Valentine's Day is one of the most important business days for the floriculture industry each year. It's the day where consumers buy more flowers than any other day, and especially when it comes to roses. Americans buy over 200 billion roses each year for Valentine's Day. Now when it comes to flowers, which ones do you prefer? I personally love flowers that are pink, purple, or red. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a simple white flower and turn it into any color that you or your valentine might love to have for this holiday. Here's what we'll need to get started. White flowers. Today I'm using what's called a stock flower because I absolutely love the way that they look and smell. But you can also use other white flowers including carnations, daffodils, or tulips. Food coloring, which represents the color you want your flowers to be. Today I'm using pink and purple. Cups, which you will designate each color to. Water. And kitchen shears or a knife. The first thing you'll do is you'll take your kitchen shears or your knife and you're going to cut the flower at least four inches from the bottom of the stem. You can cut it even more if there's a particular vase you want to put your flower in. The important thing here is that whenever you cut the stem, you do so diagonally. Next, we're going to mix our food coloring in with water in each of our different cups. I recommend using anywhere from 10 to 20 drops of food coloring, but you can always experiment to see if different amounts of food coloring change the color you see in your flowers. I also recommend filling your cup up with enough water so that the water line comes about midway to your flower stem. And now, we wait. It's really that simple. I recommend checking in on your flowers every 8 hours, and at 24 hours, you should see a lot of color in your petals. But what exactly is going on that lets our color from our food coloring in the water go all the way up to the flower's petals? Two very important biological phenomenon are at play here, and they're called transpiration and cohesion. Transpiration is an evaporative process that happens in plants. When water droplets from a leaf evaporate, other molecules within that plant will begin to travel upward into the plant. Cohesion describes the fact that water molecules love to stick together. When one water molecule begins traveling upwards in a plant, other nearby molecules will stick to it and they will all travel together. Now let's discuss where all of this is happening inside our flowers. The xylem is a structure that transports water and minerals all throughout the plant. But don't get this confused with the phloem. The phloem is a similar structure, except it transports photosynthesis products. As you can see, my flower arrangement has a little bit of color to it right now. I hope you all enjoyed learning all about the science of how you can turn a white flower into a colorful one and learning about just how important the floral sector is when it comes to American agriculture. Now the COVID pandemic certainly hasn't been easy on any of us, but one of the industries that's been the most hard hit is our small local floral businesses. This weekend, I really encourage you to go out and support local florists in your areas and maybe even use some flowers you find there to color them into the perfect Valentine's Day gift for those you care about. Please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all of the exciting activities I have planned this year. And also give me a thumbs up to let me know you like this content or maybe comment something you'd like to see in the future. Have a happy, safe, and healthy Valentine's Day.